anyway so welcome to our design thinking workshop i'm pranish i'm the current ibot strategist i was a part of a eight member team that won silver at inter it tech meet which was held at iit roorkee all right so uh, a brief introduction about me and uh, about this session the objective of this session is to locate yourself in the design process and decide how to move forward when you're stuck or in fact how to get started with product development or uh, at least for this thinkathon all right so a long long time ago if humans wanted to move anything they had to carry it as time went on they were able to solve this problems and millions of others if you think about it though clearly you can notice one of the earliest major invention for mankind was wheel okay so the in uh, so also i really don't know whether to classify wheel as a discovery or invention so i'll leave you guys with this meme you guys can figure it out for yourselves depending on your definitions of inventions and discovery all right and also if someone asks you to explain this meme after the session cause all right so please uh, do explain them uh, come on people you need to help your fellow boomers to right all right so with time we solved the issue of transportation invention of wheel was classified as a design problem like it still can be classified as a design problem and in my opinion one of the most creative or thought provoking designs of all time how would you come up with the idea of wheel if you didn't even have the notion or concept of wheel right wheels are one of the most integral part of our lives and we do not even realize it all right um if this is getting too philosophical i should probably stick to design thinking coming back since the invention of the wheel we have really come a long way we have built civilizations and what not in life we are always bumping up with new problems while we have the desire to solve them it's often hard to find the right solution or even know where to start that's where design thinking comes in so design thinking is the process that seeks to solve complex problems by approaching it with the user's perspective now why design thinking you may ask what what is it that makes it different from or important right so uh, is it just another buzzword floating around or um, or or does it actually justify the hype it has so is it even worth it is the main question here so well what what makes it stand out is the user's perspective question our innovations have been driven by technology in sense that uh, they uh, they observe what current technology uh, is the best that we have right now and that focuses on the uh, and and disregarding the focus on the end user's perspective wherein the end user is the person who is actually going to experience the product so design thinking in a way aims to achieve this innovation which is driven by users perspective rather than technology all right so this is uh, broadly what design thinking looks like and um, so design thinking framework mm -hmm. can be drilled into three distinct phases these are immersion ideation and implementation now if we zoom out a little bit these phases can be broken down into five actionable stages that make up the entire design thinking process uh, the icons of which we can, you can see on your screen um, now can you guys guess what each of these icon might mean like i would be uh, happy if you guys, uh, i i would be happy to hear some innovative wrong answers also like what do you think these uh icons mean in design thinking are you guys typing it out or i cannot really read chats from here wait a second okay so passion yeah first first thing first icon you are referring to as passion arun i think arun says first thing is passion all right 
So what do you think is the second icon might be? Friendly documentation, new idea, work experience, knowledge. Right. Yeah. Cool. So. Okay. So it is close to some of what you guys said. So the first thing emphasizes or um, justifies empathy. All right. So the first thing is empathizing with the problem statement or empathizing with what the problem that uh, that is already uh, existing. Right. So uh, for so this is the design thinking five actionable stages shown in a cycle. So it, it does not necessarily mean that you need to follow it linearly. It's a cycle. Uh, it's basic, design thinking process is basically a cycle, not a linear process is what I'm trying to say. Cool. So we'll, we'll focus on each of these individually now. And ideate, prototype. So these are empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. All right. So uh, empathizing. So first talking about empathizing with the problem. In empathize stage, you'll get to know your target audience and paint a clear picture of who the users are, what challenges they face and what they actually need. This can be achieved through uh, talking to people and uh, interviewing them, user testing and taking surveys basically. So, so the bottom thing is, basically talking to people and understanding how they think act and feel about the problem right so this you can achieve by the things that i said earlier right uh, interviewing them user testing and surveys so google forms is a, a comfortable way to take surveys major surveys easily and um, a lot of other online applications that uh, that are used nowadays so based on what you learn, then you define your problem statement. So you need to understand how you're transitioning from the empathize stage to the detailing of the problem statement, right? So you talk to people, you gather information and accordingly you frame a problem statement in your, uh, in your mind. So when you create your problem statement, focus on the user's needs and not much on the business goals because keeping it human centered is the theme of design thinking and this problem statement will act so once you define your problem statement this problem statement will act as your not star if you start to trail trail off or get lost you just have to go back to your problem statement and that will help you refocus with our problem statement defined we are ready to ideate Keep in mind, innovation is rarely born in isolation. So don't fly solo. Get up, get out of your desk, cubicle or spaceship, wherever you say, wherever you stay and gather some key individuals from different spheres of technical interest. Those are, those should be motivated by the same problem statement and collaborate. The name of the game is quality over quantity. So think outside the box and explore new angles. All right. Next up is prototyping. Prototyping comes in all different shapes and sizes from basic paper models to interactive mockups. The goal is to have something tangible that can be tested on real people. Getting a prototype into hands of real people will give you great insight on if the solution you provided is valid or if it needs more work. Based on the feedback, you can make changes or improvements before spending time and money building the real thing, right? All right. So these steps appear to be sequential, but uh, keep in mind the design thinking process is less linear that, and more it, iterative. Like at at each stage, you will most likely discover new things that require you to go back and repeat the previous steps. Okay. So about design thinking, I'll, I'll, I'll point out some important things. 
so the important thing to understand here is five steps that i mentioned a sort of a zoomed out map of how design thinking process works however the exact exercises within these circles are not defined so you need to understand that this is an important difference between design thinking and something called as design sprint let's say in design thinking you have a broad map of what you are going to do over next days weeks or months or years right but there's no rule set uh, that says that you have to do this exercise you have to pursue this per persona you have to do this or and you really don't have an alternative option whereas in something like design sprints it's more like a recipe you have to follow and uh, it is sort of like a checklist you can say so reemphasizing again on design thinking is not a recipe it is not to do this 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 it is a philosophy and a mindset that multiple different exercises can be uh, uh, could be an options to choose from depending on how uh, you want to make that dish the uh, the final thing right so design thinking is essentially pretty free form it's flexible and pretty much up to the person who is running the process which can make it quite tricky and uh, but again this is something uh, this is a philosophy that has gained a lot of popularity and people have endorsed it further so this is pretty much about the design thinking process like it's a broad overview i'd like to encourage you guys to start applying design thinking right away and get started with this thinkathon and 